Good morning students! Here we are again. I am your teacher in Math 4, Teacher Eileen. We are discussing about a new topic. It's all about area of a parallelogram. With the learning target, describe parallelogram and find the area of a parallelogram. This is a parallelogram. So this time we will find the area of a parallelogram. Are you excited? Let's begin! Before anything else, let's talk about first family of quadrilateral. I know that you know already what is quadrilateral when you were in grade 3. Your mathematics 3 taught you that quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. We have four kinds of quadrilateral, one of which is the parallelogram. Parallelogram is part of the family of quadrilateral. We have the four. First, the parallelogram. Second, rhombos. Third, the square. Fourth, is the rectangle. But today's lesson, we will discuss first what is parallelogram and how to find the area or how to solve the area of a parallelogram or shall we say the quadrilateral. Are you excited? Let's begin! Before we will tackle about the area of a parallelogram, can you draw the following? Kindly prepare your scratch or any paper and a pencil. First, can you draw a trapezoid? Hmm, very good. This is a trapezoid. How about this one? Parallelogram. Yes, excellent. This is a parallelogram. How about this one? Rectangle. Very good. This is a rectangle. Lastly, yes, the square. And this is a square. These four polygons are all part of quadrilateral since, as I said earlier, the quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon and one of which is the parallelogram. Let's know more about parallelogram. A simple quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. The opposite or facing sides of a parallelogram are of equal length and the opposite angles of a parallelogram are of equal in measures. Can we observe this one? Also this one. Based on the first picture, we have four angles. The pink angles are equal in measure because they are opposite angles. The opposite of this angle is equal to the measure of this angle. That is one of the characteristics of a parallelogram. On the second picture, we can actually see that the opposite side of a parallelogram is equal in measure to the opposite side. For example, Side WZ is equal to side XY and side XW is equal to side YZ and that is also one of the characteristics of parallelogram. Again, parallelogram is a simple quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. The opposite or facing side of a parallelogram are equal length in the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal in measure. Let's explore. To make things clear, let's work out. This activity will show to us that parallelogram is part of a rectangle. If you have an available graphing paper, 
you can actually try this one. But if you don't have a graphing paper, just simply observe and watch carefully the video. Step 1. Cut, cut out a rectangle that is 13 units long and 8 units wide from a graphing paper. Just like this example. In step 2, on one side of the rectangle, cut out a triangle having a base of 8 units. Just like this example also. In step 3, attach the triangle to the other side of the rectangle. And this new shape is called parallelogram. So compare the rectangle in step 1 to the parallelogram in step 3. In step 1, we can actually see that it is only a rectangle. But when the experiment goes, in step 3, the rectangle becomes a parallelogram. Therefore, it shows to us that parallelogram is part also of a rectangle. To find the areas, count the number of squares it occupies. Since parallelogram is part of the rectangle, therefore, area of a rectangle is equivalent to the area of a parallelogram. On the next slide, I will show to you on how to get the area of a certain polygon, specially or specifically a parallelogram. The width of the rectangle is the same as the base of a parallelogram. We also note that the area of a rectangle is the same as the area of the parallelogram. Earlier, we proved that parallelogram is part of a rectangle. So this time we will solve the area of a parallelogram. We can solve the area by multiplying only the measure of the base and the measure of the height. Before getting the area of a parallelogram, let's compare first this picture. We have here a length of a rectangle. Length of a rectangle is equivalent to the base of a parallelogram. While the width of a rectangle is equivalent to the height of a parallelogram. This means that parallelogram is also part of the rectangle. For example, we have here, Marcus family has a garden that is parallelogram in shape. The height of the parallelogram is 7 feet and its base is 14 feet. What is the area of the garden? So this time, we will find the area of the garden which is parallelogram. For example, this is the area or this is the garden of Marcus family. The problem stated that the height is 7 feet and its base is 14 feet. And how to get the area of the garden? Very good! Just familiarize and memorize the formula. Area equals base times height. First thing first, we will substitute the value of base and substitute also the value of height. Area equals 14, the base of the garden, times 7, the height of the garden. 14 times 7 equals, very good, it's 98 square feet. In the international system of units or SI, the standard unit of the area is the square and its unit. Since we used feet, therefore, 98 square feet. So what is asked on the problem? What is the area of the garden? Therefore, the area of the garden is 98 square feet. Did you get it? Am I make sense? Very good. Next example. Find the area of the parallelogram with a height 12 cm. 
and its base is 10 cm. Again, how to find the area of a parallelogram? Very good! We use the formula. Area equals base times height. Substitute the value of base and substitute also the value of height. Base is 10 cm and height is 12 cm. Area equals 10 cm times 12 cm. The answer is 120 square cm. Do not forget to use the unit square cm. Again, what is the area of this parallelogram? Excellent! 120 square cm. Very good! For you to enhance your solving skills, let's have this activity. Answer the following problem and show your solutions. Number one, a backyard is shaped like a parallelogram with a base of 30 meter and a height of 27 meter. What is the area of the backyard? Number two, a playground is parallelogram in shape. Its base is 20 meter and its height is 12 meter. What is the area of the playground? Just show your solution and write it on your one whole sheet of paper. Are you ready? Very good, you may now start solving. Good luck! We are done with our topic. Hopefully, you will learn something especially in how to get the area of a parallelogram. Again, I am your teacher, Trilene. Thank you for listening and goodbye!